So in this video we're doing the binomial distribution, it's our first go at it. We're going to have to just explain it and graph it and put it in a table. There's a lot to get through here with binomial distribution. Now, binomial distribution uses a Bernoulli sequence. So let's set up some sort of Bernoulli experiment. So we have a dice. If you roll a 6, success. And not a 6, a failure. And we're going to roll that dice multiple times. Now, in maths, uh, for success, it's, we're always going to denote that with the letter P. And the probability, P is the probability of success, the probability of rolling a 6 is 1 in 6. And failure, we're going to use the letter Q to denote that. Now, in a Bernoulli, um, in a Bernoulli sequence, the probability of failure is always 1 minus the probability of success. 1 minus P, which is 1 minus 1 in 6. Now, the reason for that, obviously, is because something has to happen. If success doesn't happen, then failure will happen. So 1 minus success will equal failure. 5 6. So we have a nice little uh, Bernoulli sequence set up here. Roll a 6, the probability is 1 in 6. A failure, the probability is 5 in 6. P and Q. Now we're going to roll a dice. Um, let's roll it three times. Now the first roll is obviously going to be a success or a failure. The second roll is going to be a success or a failure. And the third roll is going to be a success or a failure. That means that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different things that can happen. But in a binomial distribution, you're only really interested in a particular kind of thing. The thing that you're interested in is, how many successes do I have? Well, let's take a look at an example. One, two, three. I had three successes there. Let's write that down. Three successes there. I had one, two successes and a failure. So two successes there. Success, failure, success, two. Success, failure, failure, one, one success. Failure, success, success, two. Failure, success, failure, one. Uh, failure, failure, success, one. Failure, 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 zero. So I had somewhere between three successes and zero successes. Now, this thing here, it says the probability that x is equal to x. Now, what does this capital X represent? The capital X represents a Bernoulli random variable, and that is the number of successes in n trials. Okay, the number of successes in n trials. Now, in this case, um, so that says the probability that you got this many in three trials, because we're doing a three trial experiment. So the probability that you got zero, the probability that you got one, the probability that you got two, the probability that you got three. Now, how do we figure out that probability? Well, this is like a year nine sort of uh, maths problem. There's a one in six chance of success everywhere you do success, and there's a one, uh, a five in six chance of failure everywhere along here. Now, don't worry, we're going to have a faster way to do this in a little while, but I really wanted to show you exactly what's going on here. Okay, so uh, let's first of all look at this one here. This is the only time when you have three successes. What's the probability of getting three successes? One sixth times one sixth times one sixth. That's one in 216. That's a very, very small number. So, we can say that the probability that the Bernoulli random variable, the number of successes in three trials, is equal to three, is one in 216. Okay, on the other end of the spectrum, we have uh, the zero here, down the bottom. That's five in six, five in six, uh, times five in six. That's uh, 125 out of 216. So the probability that our Bernoulli random variable, the number of successes in three trials, is equal to zero is 125 out of 216. Now the ones are a little more complicated, uh, one, one, and one. So let's do the ones. Uh, 
1 in 6 times 5 in 6 times 5 in 6. That's one success. Uh, so that's 25 out of uh, 216. Uh, but So that's uh, 25 out of 216. But the same number we'll get here, we'll get here, and we'll get here. So 25 out of 216 plus 25 out of 216 plus 25 out of 216. That's uh, 75 out of 216. And finally, we have our two um, successes and one failure. So two successes, one six, one six, five in six. That's a five in 216. Um, and it happens here, here, and here. Add them together and we get 15 out of 216. That is a binomial distribution right there. That's a binomial distribution. Now we can look at it that way. We can look at it a slightly different way as well. So we're going to use this number of successes along the bottom. Probability of that six number of successes happening uh, along the y-axis. So 125 over 216, that's the probability of getting zero sixes from three dice rolls. And the probability of that happening is about 0.57. So if that's 0.6 up here, this is 0.57 here. And if I had a ruler, I would use a ruler. And we get that. Okay, uh, next up we have 75 out of 216. That's approximately 0.35. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.35 right there. Okay. Now they're equal in width, just so you know. Equal in width, equal in width. A space between them because 0 and 1, like this is the number 1 and this is the number 0. 1 success, 0 successes. Uh, 15 and 216, that's an incredibly small number. It's about 0.7 something percent. Uh, that's 0.1 here. So that is going to be about there. And 1 in 216, that's approximately um, not 0.1, that's like 10%. It's not 1% either, it's, point, it's not 0 0.01, it's uh, half a percent, so it's 0 0.005. It's almost impossible to see. I'm just going to put it right down the bottom there. That is a binomial distribution. So, you do a Bernoulli sequence, an experiment. You count how many successes you get. You map the probability of that number of successes happening. So in this case, you're very likely to not get any sixes. More than 50% likely, you won't get any sixes. You have to be really, really, really lucky to get three sixes. There's a 35-ish percent chance that you'll get one six from your three rolls. This is a binomial uh, distribution. It's an introduction here. Now, like I said, you're not going to be expected to do this all the time. We've got some great formulas, we've got some great stuff we can use on our calculator, but I want you to understand what a binomial distribution is. It's a graphical representation or a calculation in a table here. The number of successes in n trials.